Are you looking to buy PEI real estate and you're looking at bank foreclosures? This video is going to explain why that may not be such a great idea and how you can actually find a deal. So, particularly with U.S. buyers, I get a lot of emails and phone calls from people looking for bank foreclosures thinking that they're going to be some awesome deal. Where, in fact, in Canada, it's actually quite different from the U.S. Not only do our bank foreclosures work differently, but we also do not have short sales. So the way bank foreclosures work in Canada is the bank is, has a legal requirement to attempt to get full market value for that house. So typically they'll order an appraisal through a third party, an unbiased third party. They will appraise the house to determine value based on what has sold and is allegedly comparable. If there's any differences between the properties, they'll make adjustments and then they'll come up with a value at the end of the day. So the bank will typically place that property on the market at fair market value. They will do very small price reduction increments along the way. But typically, in my experience, I have found they all have one thing in common in Prince Edward Island, and that is they're usually listed at or higher than market value, because appraisals usually come in higher, and the, the structures are usually in really, really rough shape, particularly for the lower end properties. The higher end properties, not so much. You will find some of these properties will sit around for a long time, because of course they've gone on the market too high, and they haven't been very well maintained, so by the time you end up closing on the property, you've got a property that does require some work. So that's it on bank foreclosures. There's no way to set up a search on the MLS for bank foreclosures. You discover them by looking at the vendor's name, which is usually a bank, credit union, or some sort of lending authority or company. Uh, you cannot set up a search. The best way to find a deal, in my opinion, is probably two different ways. One of which is just look for motivated sellers that need to sell right away in a quick period of time. Or look at the asking price versus the assessment. If it's at the assessment or lower than the assessment, typically it's a good deal. Have a great day, and remember I'm giving away an iPad this year. Go to ipad.michaelshomes.com to enter the contest.